Hi, this is Sarah Popejoy with Musicians Empowered. I wanted to uh, talk today about how easy it is to make your own video. Um, basically, um, you know, when making your own video, it's pretty simple. You know, I'm sure that you make videos all the time, um, you know, with your phone and so forth. This video right here is just being recorded from my phone. Of course, I do have um, another video camera that I bought as well to do other stuff. Um, especially when I'm uh, doing teaching and stuff like that but you know you don't have to have that all you have to have is your phone um, and then also um, all that you have to worry about is what you're wearing up here because honestly look at this I'm wearing pajamas <laughs> and then not all my videos are in pajamas but you know I'm basically all you have to you don't even have to match with your pants okay so um, it's really really simple um, this will be a short video of course but um, there's no reason to not vlog daily, and uh, part of it's habit. I have to admit that uh, you know I've been falling a short short these last few weeks. I've been blogging six out of uh, or five or six days a week instead of uh, seven like I would like to. But you know, just uh, getting in the habit of doing it every day. It's funny because yesterday I didn't blog, and I'm about you know freaking out. But <laughs> you know, uh, my goal is to continue to give you. Uh, insights and wisdom and to um, how you can market your music and I do that through not because I'm all-knowing but because I really do a lot of research out there and find out what everybody else knows about marketing and and just kind of pull from all these different resources so that you can go into one place and then a lot of times too um, sometimes I know it might seem like recently I had a blog and I don't think it did quite as well as some of the other ones it was on referrals and which and sometimes it may seem that I go a little bit out of the scope but I really do believe that the one one of the best ways to learn with music marketing it's good to go uh, and learn stuff from other um, people who are doing music marketing but a lot of times people in different industries um, are you know may have um, ideas or things that they use that can also be used in the music industry as well and so when I started reading this book on uh, referrals of course I'll be using it for my business as well and figuring out how to actually integrate it into my industry but then also it's such a great um, to me you know obviously you wouldn't use it for um, or well you could use it for you know music sales but to me I see more of it uh, being viable for um, maybe getting gigs. I remember that uh, when I was uh, playing the Borders, um, that was one of the best, it was kind of really and truly a referral system. Now, some, you know, basically what I was do is I would, I had a list of Borders gigs I was calling and I ended up not having to, like, I got to where I wasn't even having to send out press kits to be able to do shows. And then I was making money through the sales of CDs instead of the actual performance, which was pretty much as much as you'd make at a performance anyways. And I was uh, going solo, so I wasn't having the cost of a band and everything like that. Um, so um, that's how I was doing that. But that kind of was basically a referral system. You know, when I would call up these uh, places to perform, which was like uh, all over the country, I would call and I would say, um, I've played for such and such, uh, you know, and they would know that regional manager because there would be one person who would book for about five different places in a city. And then I could go from regional manager to regional manager and it just ended up costing me a lot less for single gigs. Um, especially at the time that people weren't doing much um, uh, sending uh, electronic press, press kits at that time. So, um, but getting referrals, you know, um, in that way, and I encourage you to look at that article as well, I'll, I'll put a link to it under this video, uh, is a way for you to, because our goal is to, we want to get ourselves out there as quick as possible, as effectively as possible. And doing things, sometimes it's just taking things to a different way of thinking because there's other people just as talented um, who are, you know, more successful in album sales and some people even less talented. But it's all about creating a system. And 
you know, when you're starting from scratch as an artist, that can be really hard um, to all of a sudden be like, okay, go from, okay, I've learned my instrument and I can sing, you know, really well, but uh, now I've got to be a business person. And so taking that, and I think that's a lot of times why we had the job mentality of, you know, if I can get a record deal, you know, it's kind of that same, if I can just get a job. But the truth is, you're an entrepreneur if you're a musician, and um, even if you're signed to a label, you have to think like an entrepreneur because those are the ones who actually not only sign up to labels, but actually are successful. Or they have somebody on their staff who thinks like that. And, um, you know, so our goal here is to be proactive and help you think like an entrepreneur um, and to be able to get your stuff, stuff out there in a major way and make commissions while doing it. So um, this is just uh, an example of how easy it is